welcome to another episode of Mark Brings the Jesus to Maui. So uh, today we were supposed to be breaking bread at the Humble Market Kitchen. Hoping to get a uh, get a slice of humble pie there with our little market collapse. Going right along with the uh, little great along the little side of the bank failure there, that humble pie. But don't make the same mistake I did. Turns out they're close to lunch. They do. So, in case you're thinking of going over there, they uh, close the center of the year. What it says to me, but it's what they do. Got a nice little view there, too. But of course, you got a bunch of degenerates here because it's uh, not exactly exclusive. And you can, uh, this is a really annoying thing about the place, that you can hear the still. That's kind of why they're in the situation. They're in the side. And, which is actually why we were here today. Because, I wasn't here to be celebrating birthdays, you know, kind of like the ones they caused problems with. I wasn't here to celebrate an anniversary. Any of those things people celebrate. Here to celebrate the end of that money changer financial system. It's over. It might teeter on for a little bit longer, but it's over. People like President Andrew Jackson couldn't get couldn't get it done. No. And Soros, people like Soros, and uh, like you saw there, Jim Rogers telling everybody that you know, they should probably donate for a private jet unless they want to get more. People like, uh, what's his name? Drucken Miller. So, Drucken Miller is actually the most People like Drucken Miller and uh, Soros and Jim Rogers. They only broke the Bank of England. They managed to break the entire you know, money changer financial system. It should be, a, it should be something. A nice little slice of humble market pie over here. Just uh, make sure to come at the right time. But if you think about how stupid these fucking people are, it's amazing. It's kind of like now, you know, like they think they're going to be annoying, pieces of shit, and they're disgusting, and they're and they're they're fucking idiots. Have some retarded loser over there gaslighting me. They piss me off at every possible moment, and they actually think I spend my time thinking how I can make them richer instead of making them poor. That's how fucking stupid people are. But if you also think about it in terms of the market sense there, I mean these morons, it's kind of like somebody else talking about it. Okay? Where and I told them, you know, if you were bright, you'd be spending the rest of your day today figuring out how to get your money out of your 401k and your fucking pension. And I realized, you know, most of these people here, they don't have to worry about bank runs because they have no fucking money to begin with. <laughs> what the fuck do they care? That's why they think nothing's happening because they're already broke. Fucking idiots. But uh, it's kind of like this uh, this shit book over there, right? Uh, or, that I've that I've seen. You know, if these people had these people put their uh, their money markets or whatever into my hedge fund, they would not be in the situation there. Right? If they had they had their pension fund invested in my hedge fund. They would not be in the situation, right? And all because of their Bolshevik shit scum idiots. You know, having pieces of shit run their mouth for me too. Talking about a fucking resume. There's your fucking resume. Show your market failure, your banking failure. Which will translate into market failure. So, yeah, if they weren't complete and utter pieces of shit, you know, God would not be making sure they're getting exactly what they fucking deserve right now. But there's an even uh, funnier one that I was uh, gonna mention too. Where, you know, I saw you know I saw a bunch of these shit fucks around. You know, these uh, retards. Who, I don't know, maybe they think they're. But 
it's like the, what's going on with Credit Suisse. It looks like Credit Suisse is going to be the first uh, first city to go, right? And why is that? Because these stupid pieces of shit thought they were going to fuck around with my billions of dollars. Thought they were going to screw me out of billions of dollars. And then thought I was going to be spending my time thinking, how do I make these scumbags piss me off at every fucking moment? Every minute, basically, of my day. How was I going to make them rich instead of, you know, make sure they end up in poverty? And instead of making sure that I had that little hotel over in Parada Flats like I wanted, well, now you get to have your entire financial system going. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. Fuck this part. And that's what their shit bullshit is. Against. And I was just bringing that up. It's pretty funny. Right now. They're, they're like crying the Saudi, you know, whatever Saudi isn't, you know, propping up the bank. Probably shouldn't have caused problems with my fucking billions of dollars. Shit, shit. Fuck around with my fucking old nose, too. And then think that, you know, shit bums are gonna get richer off of, you know, being in my presence, pissing me off, by the way. So now they get to, uh, they get to see, uh, uh, I mean, even Jesus Christ himself could not get rid of, could not fix the money changer system. We did. So again, if they were smart, they'd be putting that money into the, uh, the hedge fund there. Or even better, donating it to the church so that we can bring more Jesus to people. And break bread at wonderful restaurants like the Humble Market Kitchen. But again, you see a parade of stupid going on there. This is what they got themselves. Oh, and even better, they thought that they would have the fattest, stupidest, most fucking retarded pieces of shirt. Shit pissing me off and annoying me. And they couldn't figure out why they were told to go screw up and uh, go to hell. And now they get to see the fire and brimstone as they uh, refuse to make their donations and pay their tax. <coughs> and again, look at these geniuses. That's you can cry too about your uh, economic problems there. Real fucking great. But as I was saying, you know, so these fucking morons decide to screw out, you know, screw me out of my businesses and billions of dollars. Oh look! Oh look! Now, now that, now that gets to go on. Oh, oh, oh well. Show your shit financial system going on too. And that's exactly what I was saying in the other videos too, by the way. Where uh, these garbage only get to enjoy the standard of living they should not be enjoying. Right now. Yeah, just like they're shit idiots there, and what they try to associate with that, and. Just like now I'm discussing their bank failure, their imminent poverty that they were told they would get. You know, that's not what they associate with that schizophrenia. And deservedly so. They, as I was saying, these people only get to enjoy this inflated standard of living they have. Well, essentially because they were inflating their money supply. They just kept printing money and thought the rest of the world would keep loaning it to them. So that they could be pieces of shit, father sons to like places like China, or people like me for that matter, who are Chinese. And then they seem to have thought that they would continue enjoying the standard of living. They're not. They're going to be the poorest pieces of shit on earth within less than a day. They'll be poorer than Mexico. And deservedly so. And again, these are the stupid, garbage pieces of shit that thought they would piss me off at every possible moment, get in my fucking shot, run their shit mouth with their gaslighting bullshit, and are actually are still so fucking stupid. They think I'm gonna spend time out of my day to shape economic policy to make them richer instead of profit off of their device. Because simply they can't handle these types. They can't handle reality. They can't handle the truth. They can't handle not being a piece of shit. And it's deserved. It's well deserved. And again, why would the Saudi uh, monetary authority, or, or, or sovereign wealth, or whatever the fuck they call them, why would they not want to prop up Credit Suisse? Why would they want this financial system to continue? Such that they're beholden to the, uh, to the kid, yeah, uh, face or money changer, as we call it, right? The money changer financial system, wherein they'd have to be dependent on a weak military that can't defend them. All that entire monetary system goes under. So broke bitches like this 
can now enjoy the standard of living that they rightfully deserve. And again, this is the mentalness of this all. It's shit like that attitude that they still haven't gotten yet all over in their little retarded schizo minds. They think they're gonna gaslight me, the most famous fucking person on earth, tell him he's not gonna be paid the billions of dollars he's owed, and then fucking insult them with retarded gaslighting shit in reference to problems they cause, and actually think I'm gonna spend my time formulating economic policies to make them rich. And that's the same attitude I was talking about too with the Chinese. They thought that they were gonna start a war with the country that lends them trillions with the T dollars so that they can enjoy their overly inflated standard of living, where in which they produce nothing, they produce nothing. And now, that day of reckoning has come where, guess what? Nobody's lending them billions, trillions, I mean, of dollars anymore. So that they can be pieces of shit to tell the Chinese what to do with their fucking island. Dumbest fucking people on earth. And again, rightfully so. So, again, just like I said too, had these pieces of shit not try to make themselves feel better about their stupid, useless, uneducated trash, trying to tell themselves that, oh, they were equal, that, oh, he thinks he's better than us, so he has to work our shit little minimum wage jobs. Well, fuck you. Go fucking goddamn enjoy your poverty. That's what your shit Bolshevism gets you. Thinking I'd be spending my time fucking goddamn selling snorkel instead of running my goddamn hedge fund. And had I been, had I been running my hedge fund, they would not be in the situation they're in. Their pensions would not be absolutely destroyed at this point. Their 401ks wouldn't be absolutely destroyed. Their uh, Turkestani startups wouldn't be lacking their cash right now. And again, you see the parade of stupid and their little deluded little mindset on that issue. And they still think they're going to continue to be a problem for me. And that somehow I'm going to spend my time fixing their problems. Just like the Chinese is going to subsidize them to fucking start a war with them to fuck around with their eyes. Stupid. And again, similar to the Saudis. Why would they fucking prop up this thing? And just like I was saying with the piece of the shit and the Bolshevism at my, uh, my little hotel there at Colorado Plaza. Guess what? I guess when Credit Suisse goes under, when it things be liquidated, maybe I will end up with it. And that's exactly what these shits do. Exactly. And then they still think they're gonna be retarded pieces of shit. Like they're so fucking great. The entire world fucking exists to loan them money to live their inflated standard of living. Which is now, it's over. And again, this is a thing to be celebrated. The end of this little money changer financial system. And the best part about it, too, is that little monologue in that garbage, you know, margin. You know, that they thought I'd be fucking wobbling to their little money changers to make them little fucking goddamn shit movies where they pay me pennies on the fucking dollars instead of returning my billions of dollars for paying me those billions they owe. Yeah, when I take my hand off the scale that makes these people live like fucking kings in their fucking houses and fucking cars they can't even fucking afford, things get real fucking fair, real fucking fast. There's a fucking shit on a lot. And too bad, you know, art actually imitates life again because that was the, uh, that was the, that was supposed to be a reference to the, uh, or not a reference, that movie was based on the first financial collapse, not first financial, the other major financial collapse in recent history. They've had plenty of them so far. So, except this time, it's much worse because everything that underpins their, uh, their little, you know, basically printed money scheme. It's over. It's worth nothing. Because they printed so much goddamn money, it is now worth fucking nothing. And, like I said, it gets rid of their little financial system. Because now, anybody rational will go to gold or some other commodity back currency. Or the, the big one. I don't want to use crypto because they associate with shit for Which should be gone. But, yeah, it'll change. The point is, it'll change. I, I don't know wh which way it'll go. I can't prophesize that at this moment. 
No. I, I couldn't be breaking bread at the uh, Humble Market Kitchen. I needed a slice of humble pie before I figured that one out. But the, uh, the system will change. And it is well deserved, just as you saw there. That is their shit attitude and shit mentality that needed to see its fucking come up. And it finally has. And again, they, you know what's even crazier too? Is that they still think perpetuating their garbage bars instead of, you know, returning my property or paying me those billions immediately. You know, not in their plated garbage cash, by the way, or garbage dollars. And making sure they're not a problem. Which are things I shouldn't even have to say. These fucking idiots still actually think I'm going to be spending my time making them richer. The fucking mental ones. And they got the nerve to be drugging my food with their shit psychological fucking medication, psychiatric medications, because they lie. Lie your way out of this one. Which is funny enough because I've been reading through Bloomberg and seeing the headlines and seeing all the bullshit just like in the crash in 2008. And it brings back good memories, actually. Because I was laughing at that shit and this bullshit back then, too. But it's exactly what they fucking do. And again, they still think perpetuating some scumbag little fucking farce to screw me out of billions was going to make them richer. Explain that one. And I haven't been able to find a person that could, by the way. Or an even better, they thought they were going to drug my food with lying, scum, you know, psychiatric medication. They can't be a fucking do it, too. There's your shit medications, by the way. Just like your shit residue. Fuck. <coughs> so again, the point of the, uh, the point of this being, you didn't donate. You didn't pay your tithe. You thought you were going to steal from the reverend. And now the God and the Jesus is bringing the fire and the brimstone here. It's time to be celebrating. Oh, and the uh, the funnier part of that too is that they only saw that because they were legally spying on me. And I sent the message to somebody I knew saying, start shorting the bank. This is another one of those kinds. And again, look at this dumbbell. One of the retard things they do is they set off a car alarm instead of paying me my money. Just like I said, too, had they not been pieces of shit screwing me out of billions of dollars and putting their pensions in my hedge fund, they wouldn't be where they are. Not having their fat, disgusting, you know, what you want to call those beautiful, you know, those beautiful women that should have been around. Who, who the fuck thinks this way? But again, just like all those times in the Bible, too. Where the scumbags, the gluttonous, the, the Sodom and Gomorrahs, they got exactly their fire and brimstone like they need. And you know the best part was, dude? Back then, they were so, uh, so arrogant, so narcissistic, so hubristic. They thought nothing would happen. Oh, look, here's another one, too. Piss me off with another gaslighting video repetition. And it still thinks I'm going to make more money. How fucking stupid these people are. They think I'm gonna spend time out of my day to be gaslit by some piece of shit who doesn't know his shit place. He thinks he's my equal too, by the way. Oh, and who probably got paid more than me. And thought I was gonna spend time during my day to write up some economic policy to make him rich. Probably last thing we're gonna have. Oh, and even better too. These fucking scumbags like the uh, like the Jubal there. Stealing my fucking IP and making how many fucking billions off those fucking shit ads, by the way. And they still and these idiots still believe that I shouldn't be paid that money. Yeah, I'm gonna spend my time out of my day to fix your fucking money. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I, I would, yeah, I, I would just love to see you more prosperous after you fuck me out of billions of dollars. Fucking bitch. I swear to God.
And the best part of that that I was mentioning was, you know, some of those Silicon Valley banks, or that Silicon Valley bank, and then the Silicon Valley companies. Yeah, they're still at fraud. I saw a nice little shirt that had the uh, SVB risk management intern 2023 that you could buy on Etsy. But Etsy's not working because I guess they can't pay the bills. <laughs> they're a customer of SVB. So again, well fucking deserved. Well fucking deserved. And then they got the nerve to have their garbage sales garbage run their mouths to me after gaslighting me, talking to me about resume. There's your fucking resume. You want to play pretend to fuck me out of millions and cause me problems? Oh, even better, think you're going to coerce me to do a goddamn thing I don't want to be doing. And it caused me problems with the people that I should be around and the women that I should be doing, by the way. What did you think would happen? Have to go get a fucking Etsy shirt, by the way, if you can. They like to wear their little gaslighting shit, that's why I said that. Yeah, there you go. Fuck. The scum of the earth. And they never learn either. Dude. And they think doubling down on being shit scum will get their freedom. Will fix their economic problems or their classic third world. They're gonna see the fire in the brainstorm like they deserve. Mostly in the form of their coming banking collapse, as in the entire banking system. And their financial market collapse. And of course their economy collapse for all time. The only reason why they had their uh, standard of living is because they printed money and then China was lending them money. They're not going to be doing that anymore. I mean, nobody will. Because their financial system is broke. I'm actually trying to think about it. There wasn't a medication where I was talking because you know, I was on camera. But the, uh, the retards like to spin their shit pseudo furniture. I guess it does make you think slower. But what this likens to is probably back in like the 1400s and you know, the shit was like when this garbage little scam started with the, the uh, Medici. Yeah, guess what? Their little scripts, their bullshit, that, that, that's over there. It goes into a new currency, a new, a new one that's backed by something else. And again, you can think of how many times this has happened to you since they started that fractional banking reserve scam. You know, that like the Medici garbage back in the 1400s. Maybe they can get a slice of humble pie at the humble market. They like their little retarded references. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. Too. They got the most disgusting shit on earth around me. And they're shocked. They're shocked that they give a fuck if they go under and think that you know people are worth it and they're gonna be around their fucking disgusting little shit. Again, it's just slowly rooted in their narcissism and their hubris, where they still deludedly think they're the greatest shit on earth, even though they produce nothing, nothing about it. And then thought geniuses exist and deserve them, and be around the fed ugly women. Fuck it, Mark. When I bring that up, too, because, you know, like, uh, you know how the places are in the They don't bring fat bitches around. Oh, and even better, too. It's like that thing I was saying, too. I guess I was typing up with no one should have. Yeah, there's a fucking reason why people get chauffeured around the world, and why your shit takes the bus. 
And that's especially for that piece of shit garbage running a shit mouth and calling me after they would stolen my fucking Mercedes and BMW and caused me problems with my fucking house. And they're fucking running a shit. Oh, you're taking the bus? What's a person with such a high EQ taking the bus? But you can play, I'm sure you can play on the internet. Yeah, and these are the fucking shit that thought I was gonna let them fuck me out of billions of dollars instead of, you know, enjoy their little, you know, economic collapse. Oh, banking and financial sector collapse. Yeah, enjoy that fucking bus. See if you fucking learn about the Reverend and his little droids. You can pretend that shit right there. Fucking garbage. And again, that's the shit mentality. Just like this mentally old fucking retard reference. How many fucking women could they have sure been made sure to show up instead of their fat, disgusting fucking shit? Like I said, they're the dumbest shit on fucking reason. Oh, making them feel so useful like that. They thought they were going to cause me problems with women for a decade and somehow I was going to make them richer. Which, by the way, $40 trillion of economic destruction later. How did that work out for them? It's like they don't live in reality. They live in some little delusion on social media and then fucking tell themselves that, you know, they're fucking great because they're in this little social media fake world. And then in real life, they're in like 10 seconds. Oh, and even better, thought that I was going to be living around their garbage instead of my beachfront mansion. And somehow they would be keeping their houses. Which was the next point to be made. Just like in 2008. We're in a... Not just like in 2008. It's not like it was in 2008. Because 2008 was based on rampant fraud, fake val or bad valuations on the actual properties and that sort of thing. This is going to be crashing because their interest rates are getting guys. It's going to be getting much higher, and those property values will end up much lower. And there will be tons of people who will be underwater on their mortgages, who are just better off walking away from that garbage than paying, you know, paying away their inflated money for the rest of their lives. Two years left with the uh, vaccine, right? And nobody, nobody in the right mind is going to do that. So, it is in uh, bad underwriting this time. It's what higher interest rates and inflation is. Reality. Because those property values should have never been that high anyway. And we're only allowed to be that high because of the negative real interest rate policy. Which, by the way, also created all those bullshit jobs in those zombie companies that shouldn't be existed. Where, again, many of those will no longer have a job either. Deservedly so, because those companies shouldn't exist. This is the free market at work. You know, not like they're shit bullshit, where they're stupid enough to think that they're going to coerce somebody after insulting them, harassing them, stealing from them, reducing their standard of living, and then on top of that, having their fat, disgusting fucking skanks around them, instead of the fucking women, you know, the beautiful women that you can see in anywhere else. But, that's, that's their reality whether or not they accept it. Who cares? Nobody cares what they think. They're irrelevant in the world. So, again, the rest of the world will no longer be subsidizing these fucking evil. Their little falsely inflated standard of living. They'll be poorer than the Mexicans. Than less than a decade. Oh, and even better, the top people, fucking geniuses, most important fucking people on earth, would be sticking around in their shit hole to make them rich. To be around their fat, disgusting fucking people. Yeah. Stupid as shit are. And I don't know if you're picking that up, dude. That is the funniest part. With their garbage buddy reference, too. Well, again, yeah, I don't want around me either. But they get to live around because they're a third world shithole. And that's exactly who they can cry to about their problems. Because those idiots have affirmative action degrees that are supposedly equal to mine. There you go. See if they learn their fucking lesson about their buddies and running around. 
that's what I was saying, dude. The biggest pieces of shit on her, the most worthless, useless shit. Think they're anybody to be gaslighting me because of some dirty little fucking rag shit parts on the internet. Yeah, they live in some fake little delusion on the internet, completely detached from reality. And then they think they're smart as they you know, wallow away in their poverty and their shit life. Two thirty-eight on Wednesday afternoon, and that's what they do with their garbage lives. And they think they're anybody. Reality is not something they like. It's kind of like those pieces of shit on that, in the other video, you know, running their shit retard mouths because they don't like hearing about reality while spying on it. Pieces. Of shit. And now they're getting back. And again, that stupid garbage that, that, that thought they were my equal and thought I should be working their shit last lives, fucking me out of billions of dollars, and stupid enough to think I was gonna make them richer while they run their shit mouths about their affirmative action buddies while gaslighting me. Stupidest shit on earth. And that's exactly why they're all with And they're still running their fucking mouth. Look at why you're in poverty. It's like that idiotic reference to help me. These fucking shit screwed me out of billions. And they think they're gonna get what? And their little idiotic repetition. You know, they can help themselves, but the first thing they do is transfer billions of dollars into those accounts, especially that church money. Oh, fucking God. They have to be the stupidest shit on earth. And then while they're spying on me, they act like I'm the one that's fucking their deal. As I go about my day, doing nothing that they imagine in their little schizophrenia. Oh, they get the fucking dropping off that cash. And look, there's more idiotic This is the stupid shit these garbage spend their time on. Instead of, you know, fixing their economy, for example. Or even better, like I was saying with the other ones. Gaining a useful skill so they don't end up like the sweatshop workers of the world. Which they should. So they have no fucking value on it. And then they think they're equal to people who do. Thought they were going to coerce them and insult them and fucking gaslight them and have their fat ugly guns around. Stupidest country on earth. Oh, and they're shot. They're shot. The fucking most important people on earth do not spend their time on Or their shit don't. Oh, and even better, act like they're on some moral high ground for being one of these hermaphrodites that you would fucking hear about in Le Leviticus over there, in the book of Leviticus. And then fucking thinking that, you know, uh, they're owed anything from me and my work. Mark was bringing the cheeses to Maui. We didn't get exactly uh, get a chance to uh, sample the food over at the uh, Humble Market Kitchen. There. But I'm sure it's good. It's, uh, even if it isn't, the furniture's pretty nice. Very nice place to sit, eat, have a drink. Highly recommend. It. Just that you know, there's a uh, shit holder crowd around. It's not. Hawaii is back. It's, uh, it's not Monaco. Aside from that, it's a nice view. And the uh, food is supposedly good too, but it's weird. So. There you go. Don't forget to donate. Your donations are your salvation. Nothing else is going to save you.